Welcome back. In this video, I'm testing out the return to home failsafe in the follow me mode. So I have the bridge set to follow me right now. And um, it's been a while since I've flown it because the weather hasn't been good over here. It's been raining or I've just been busy with life. But as you can see in the video, it's, it's following me pretty good, pretty steady. Okay, so right now I'm just adjusting the camera angle. I'm sorry if I might have a little bit of a little too much light in the video, but I was really focused on the failsafe features and seeing how it works. So when I'm out other places and I do have my oh shit moment, I know what to expect. So in this test, I have a set to for the bird to land at its location, not to return to home. And once I hit the button on the remote, it did what it was supposed to do. It gave me the warning saying that it wasn't gonna land. Since I was flying over a puddle, I canceled it. But at least I know it's gonna do what it's supposed to do. Now in this test, I'm gonna set the return to home setting to go back to the location of my home spot. That is right where I took off. I actually marked the pavement with an X so I can see how close it gets back, but I'm not gonna have all that in the video. It's gonna be too long. And at this moment, I'm going to the process of having it follow me where I had to raise the bird to about, I think it's 36 feet altitude and I'm putting myself in the camera. Now once I got everything set, I told it to follow me. And uh, most people get confused that when you're setting it, you have to be 36 feet up. But once you tell it to set and go, you can actually bring it all the way back down. So for the people who are wondering or complaining that, hey, 36 feet is too high up, just lower it down on your own. It will still follow you. As you can see right here, I'm not holding remote and it's following me like a champ. So at this moment, I decided to turn it around and see if it was still following me. And even while me turning the bird, it was still following me. It's still good. It's fail. It's fail safe, pretty good. It's legit. Now at this moment, I think I turned off the remote, and the bird just stays there and hover. So if you lose connection with the remote. I think it's just going to sit there and hover you and it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to return to home or it's not going to land. It's just going to sit there and hover. So I got back, turned on my remote, got signal and everything, hit return to home. Now it went up to its altitude that I wanted to go to. You're going to see it turn. Be like, pada pang. And it did what it's supposed to do. So yes, if you lose signal while flying in follow me mode, most likely it's just going to hover. I'm gonna try this again, but so far in test number one, it just stood there and hover. If I hit the return to home button on the remote, that's where it goes to whatever fail safe setting you had it set to go, which is either your location that you took off from or the location that the bird is at at the moment, and it will land right there. So I hope you guys learned something. I know I learned something. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll be trying to post some more videos. Hopefully weather will stay good. 
because you know we're in October and uh, it shouldn't be as humid and I'm hoping there's going to be less rain but thanks again for watching and until next time